going to create a reference sheet of the major scales and the primary triads, and we're going to uh, use it to it for all 15 keys, including the enharmonics, and then we'll also uh, format it so it all fits on one page. We could start out with just simply a default document since this will only have one staff, but let's go ahead and use the setup wizard instead. All right, in the setup wizard, we're in Asia, so we're going to set this to A4. All right, and then everything else can just stay the same. We'll go and click Next. And I just need a simple staff, so we'll go down and we'll get one of the empty staves. And I want to, I'll do this in treble clef. And then we'll add. Okay, give it a title. copyright symbol. Next. All right, our time signature. There's a couple of ways I could do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two different measures. I'm going to create one measure that will be in 8-1, which will allow me to put all of the notes in the scale as uh, whole notes. And then later on we'll set up a measure for the primary triads. Uh, our key signature is the way it is, and uh, there is no pickup measure. And with 15 scales and primary triads, I'll need a total of 30 measures, so we'll finish. Our next step is going to be to create a 3-1 time signature for the primary triads. Uh, I can use the time signature tool, but instead I'll just use the selection tool and right click and select time signature. It's not one of the default time signatures, so we have to create our own. I'd like to format this one before I enter my notes, so it will do some automatic formatting, but let's go up to the Utilities menu and select Fit Measures. And we're going to lock the layout to two measures per system for all of the measures. We're ready to enter our notes now. So let's select the Simple Entry tool, press the 7 key for whole notes, and then we'll just play it in using the MIDI keyboard. notes. We're going to copy all of this to the other re remaining measures, so we should go ahead and enter in the analysis too. So I'll click, and I'm going to use the Lyric tool for this. We won't need a special font since we're only doing root position chords, so we'll use that. And so now we're set to copy this. We use the, I use the Escape key shortcut to get back to this, and then I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to select this measure and I'm going to select paste multiple. Okay, we're going to paste it 14 times. And there we have all of that. Now our next step is, you'll notice that we have these courtesy time signatures. We don't need time signatures at all. Um, and you'll also see that we would have courtesy uh, key signatures if I do this. As a matter of fact, we can just go ahead and select a measure here. And let's go ahead and change it to a key. Our we're going to do the circle of fifths in counterclockwise following the flat key. So I'll change this to F major. And so as you see that when I do that, I also get a courtesy key signature here. I don't want any of this. So let's go up to the document menu and select document options. And here we go to first to key signatures. And we're going to click cancel outgoing key signatures and deselect display courtesy key signature at the end of staff system and then apply. And so now you can see that the key sig courtesy key signature is missing. We can do the same for time signatures. So we'll click on that. And we'll click Apply. And so those are gone now. So we're getting better. But we still have that funny little line there. And that's a, a, called a word extension. And you find that under Lyrics. And then you click the Word Extensions box. And turn off Use Smart Word Extensions. And we'll apply that. And so now that looks much, much cleaner. Except I still have time signatures all through this, and I don't really want them. So we can go to the Staff tool, and we're going to double click on our first measure. And here we get to decide what we're going to show on any all staves, or on this stave, staff. And what I want to turn off is time signatures. So I'll turn that off, and now they're gone.
So that's looking pretty good. Um, so our next step is to go ahead and do all the rest of the transposition. So back to the selection tool. I'll select our third line and key signature. And we want B flat major. And we'll continue this until we get all, 12, all 15 keys. Once we get past four flat, sharps and flats, we have to do it, edit the key signature manually. And you can see that you use this little scroll bar there. Uh, let's see, that's G flat. to control the way it's transposed, you have the options there too when you do it this way. All right, so we've completed that, and so our last step now is to get this all onto one page. To do that, we'll use the Page Layout tool. And the first thing we need to do, um, now you'll notice there are boxes around all of these. These are called systems. And the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of the gap between the systems. So we'll go up to the Page Layout menu, select Systems, Edit Margins. And I will select the second system. Go there, and uh, if I want to select all of them, you'll see that when I delete that number, it selects all subsequent systems, and I'll click Apply. What I want to do is I want to get rid of that gap, and so click Apply, and that gets them a little tighter. Um, this first system is also indented, so we should probably fix that. Now I could also, you can adjust these just manually, just by dragging them, okay. and you can see that my left number went to zero. But we're still not, we still don't have everything on one page, and there's pretty much no way we're going to do it at this size. So our next option is to start to reduce things. You could reduce the page, but that also reduces the text on the page. So instead, I'm just going to reduce systems. And let's try it at 80%. Well, I got us halfway there, so I think we're going to have to go a little smaller. And let's go to 70%. That's pretty close. I think where we can get a little bit more space is going to be on this first system here. Let's go back up to the top. We'll select Edit Margins again. And on this first system, instead of leaving it at one and a half, I'm going to set it to one. And there we have everything's on the one page. Um, one was probably a little too small. Let's go ahead and drag it. Click on the first system. If I drag it down, you'll see that all the rest of them move down with it. And so that gets us down to the margin. Last step is to get rid of just this extra text that's sitting on the page. So we'll press, go back to our selection tool, and I don't have an arranger. I don't have a subtitle. This isn't really a score, and we don't need a copyright. And now we're done.